Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, you wish you got the arcane web. I totally, I totally was not expecting to see another drop. Oh, wow. Elite clue scroll. Damn. Damn, Zora. She's given me three elite clue scrolls and probably less than 50 kills. That's, that's great. I mean, got another master to do then. Hooray for masters. Let's uh, open it up. I think this is master clue number 70, right? So uh, let's check this out. Oh, well, I'll take the runes, I guess, but... Uh... Alright guys, I think it's time for me to give the Inferno a serious try on the Iron Man account. So, a few things to note is that instead of the Arabs top that I had on my main, I have the Ancestral top. Because, yeah, I just had to do a switch back. But I prefer not having the Arab skirt and the Ancestral because, yeah, I'll weigh a lot with this. But it should be fine. And the other big thing is um, I don't have the Elijah, so I won't be tanking as well. But offensively... I'm much better. I shouldn't be splashing as much with the arcane, and that could honestly be better than the Elijah in some situations. So it's not too big of a deal. But otherwise, everything else is the same. I guess uh, the Faldor Shield Four is pretty nice, though. I didn't have that on my main, but yeah, this is two uh, full prayer recharges a day, so that's a lot better than one restore. So that's nice. So I want to update you guys on a little bit of Infernals. Fortunately, didn't make it uh, to the end, and uh, that cost me like 3,000 rune darts. It's about a thousand rune darts just to make it to like wave 50 plus. So I've yeah burned through quite a bit, and this is all I have left, 1,200. But luckily, I've been saving up some rune auras, so I'll get about 5,000 back. But honestly, before I go back to front here, I am definitely gonna uh, sharpen up more on my main account. It has come to my attention that if I'm going to get this Inferno Cape, it's probably going to take me a lot of tries on this Iron Man. And uh, what that means is it's going to cost me a lot of resources. So uh, my main issue would be the runes, right? Uh, blood runes, I know how to get those. You know, if I run out, I just go and runecraft them. They're good XPs. But for the death runes, I would just love to buy them because I don't, I'd rather not train runecrafting do, doing deaths. It's just slow XP per hour. And I could get a lot of them really fast through the store in the Wizards Guild. So I have luckily a lot of resources in my bank that I could just you know turn into money. Um, I could obviously out my Onyx Bolt. Uh, I could go ahead and uh, out some uh, Magic Longbows that I have. But there's actually this other item that I could turn into money right here. Look at this. 158k rune arrows somebody brought this to my attention i mean like i'm not gonna use these rune arrows even if i get the twist the bow i'm just gonna use amethyst arrows so what better way to use these rune arrows than turn into money for my inferno grind right so if i were to sell them to the store it's gonna sell for 40 gp each and that will get me six mil not bad i could uh just sell 50 per world but it would take ages to sell them so screw that i'm just gonna stick to one world and just yeah sell all of this it should take uh, actually no time but six mil gp from that i think it's a pretty good return yo this is going by so fast i'm just using both my hands one of my hand is uh, pressing left mouse and the other one's pressing right mouse so i just press them both at the same time oh my god after a lot of painstaking clicking it was super fast though Yep, I got myself the 6 mil. I'm gonna leave 10k, uh, just, I, I don't know, for emergency or something, because I can't make Amethyst arrows yet. I need to be 92 for that, so, yeah, we'll save 10k, but 6 mil? That's a lot of death runes. Uh, that's about, like, 5, so that's almost 30k death runes worth of GP right there, so should be more than enough, I would hope, right? <laughs>
Hit, 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 please, 160 HP. Come on. Alright, come on, baby. Did we do it? Yes! Oh my god! Holy shit, I did it! Woo! Oh my goodness! Yes! Wow, not even a bad time with Armadillo Crossbow, I wouldn't lie. 143! Nice with the Armadillo Crossbow, dude. That was so on point, guys. I did not take a single Zuck hit that one. Oh my god, that was so beautiful. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I can finally do stuff again. That isn't Infernal. 
Yeah, that's amazing. Oh, man. Freaking amazing. Oh, wow. Finally. I don't even know how many tries uh, of Zuck. You know, it Zuck, but it's done. Oh, it is done. That was a flawless kill. Wow, look at those bonuses, guys. Holy shit. Eight strength. Uh, two prayer, you know, not nothing crazy about that, but eight strength, dude, that's mind-blowing, guys. Oh my god, this is the hardest PVM challenge I've ever done. I swear, I swear to you, so fucking hard. Also, the attack bonuses are really nice. It's three more melee than the fire cave. Wow, I cannot wait to use this bad boy. Who needs a twisted bow for the infernal, guys? Who needs it? I mean... The Twisted Bolt can come later, because I already got the Infernal Cave, so... Yeah, we can do some more raids with the Infernal Cave. That's gonna be so exciting. Oh my god, so exciting. Like, let's talk supplies, right, guys? So, I started off... I had, like, um... 17,000 Blood Runes or something in my bank. And no, it, you might think, oh, 16,000 minus 6,000. Oh, you, you only used 10,000. But no, I didn't. Because I actually did some room crafting in between. So, I probably... Uh, use more like probably use 15,000 blood runes and death runes yeah o over 10,000 easily 10,000 death runes I don't even care about the soul runes because I, I have so many so you know not gonna really try to figure out how much I had you know maybe maybe use like a few thousand but uh, in terms of uh, ammunition I basically used uh, I think about 5,000 rune darts. I decided for this run to uh, switch to dragon darts. I, I had a thousand so yeah I just decided to use that. Use about I believe 500 dragon darts for this run and about 5,000 rune darts overall. Um, scales, not sure. I, I'd probably use 10,000 or something. Maybe 5,000, 10,000. So I don't really need the fire cape anymore I guess so I will replace the inferno right there and uh, put my fire cape in my house so that I can just save some bank space. So I'm going over my clips right now and I'm trying to figure out how many times I went to suck, you know, before I actually got to beat it for real and how many times I've died in general. So it seems that I have gone to suck five times and actually like attempted it. And there was actually two attempts where I got to the final boss, but I disconnected. So it should have been seven, but I had five actual tries before I actually got the cape. But in terms of just like, attempts in general you know like dying before the boss so i died easily anywhere between 20 30 times in in total before i got the inferno cape so yeah it is a lot of patience and a willpower to push through this type of grind you know so uh, best of luck to those of you that are attempting it so uh gonna start using the inferno cape obviously from now on i'm gonna try out some port first with it should get an extra um damage with this cape so yeah I'll be looking forward to it and then I'm gonna be testing this at race later I never bring a cape switch but this will be the first time I do you know cuz inferno cape I think is worth bringing oh nice clutch All right, what we get here on expose beautiful man nice I need to get some money back from uh, buying out so much runes from the inferno grind so that's that's good all right, let me see what my collection is starting to uh, be at nowadays. Let's see. Ooh, almost back to 2K. Nice. Oh, yes. Clutch kill. All right, I guess this is going to be my uh, new setup for quite a while uh, until, you know, I get new equipment. But, yeah, I've just replaced Eternal Boots, the, you know, Magic Boots for the Inferno Cape. I think that would be uh, worth the switch. You know, the Inferno Cape should be really good for... Uh, rates at least you know for anything melee involved so it'll be worth it yep nice i got easy uh crystal face we're chilling 70 oh my god only because i have the inferno cape when it comes to loot all right first raid in many many days i didn't get anything though but was uh nice seeing big hits big noticeable hits you know with uh, my melee weapons Thanks to the cape. So another cool thing I want to mention uh, about the Inferno Guard was how much taco did I get? So I ended up getting 145k uh, during my whole Inferno Grind, which is a lot. I mean, it's half an Onyx essentially, which is kind of cool. 
but that's gonna be it for this video guys i spent all of you know the recent few days just grinding inferno that's really all i did since the last video so there just wasn't that much else you know that i could have done but honestly inferno once you get the cape is like probably one of the best content i i could ever deliver to you guys i do have to give you guys a heads up though for my future plans uh so this week is my last week of summer vacation so on tuesday i'm gonna be starting school again and, and like my internship and stuff so there will be probably uh, an eventual like schedule change in terms of like uh, videos uh, maybe upload rates and uh, i also have like a mini series uh, in mind i've talked about a potential mini series a long time ago i just never really found the right time to bring it out i might you know bring that out during the next uh, month but honestly i don't know yet because i need to get back into school first and just you know get adjusted and then once i am adjusted i will talk to you guys more about the post summer goals so probably in the next video i'll have some you know better clarification for uh, the next upcoming uh, things that i'm going to be doing for this channel but anyways, I'm gonna enjoy my time with my Inferno Cave on, on these last few days of summer and yeah, just grind out my favorite PVM things to do right now. Thank you guys so much for watching today and I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you are new to the series or my channel and you wanna stay up to date, feel free to subscribe. And uh, other than that, I will hope to see you guys soon with another video in uh, maybe less than a week. All right, bye-bye.